let's now try to understand how we can add it, add four digit numbers to each other. So let's say I have the problem see, 2,803, 2,803, and I want to add that to, I'll draw a little small plus sign here. You almost can't see it because I'm doing it so far to the left. I'm adding that to 1,443, and this is the same problem that they have on page 24 of the book. Let's think about how we can do this. So I'm going to do it simultaneously here on in, in this top left corner of, of the video, uh, but at the same time I'm going to uh, draw it out with the place notation, so we know the the different uh, uh, the different uh, number places. So let's say this is the ones place, ones. Tens, hundreds, I'll just write hund, and thousands. Thous. And let me draw some columns here so that we don't, so that things can stay relatively neat. Dum da dum da dum. Want to be relatively neat. There you go. Okay. So, how do we represent 2,803? if we were to put it into these place buckets. Let's see, we have two thousands. So let me draw that as thousand. I'm, I'm going to do everything in the same color, but the same color as this 2,803. So we have two thousands, right? So that's 1,000 and 2,000. And each of these are thousands. Right? We have two thousands. We have eight hundreds. So let's see. Let me see if I can draw eight hundreds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each of these are 100. 100, 100, 100. You can't see it, so I don't know why I'm writing it. But let's, each of the, that just says 100 on each of them. You probably can't read it. How many tens do we have? Well, we have no tens, right? And how many ones? We have three. One, two, three. Each of those are ones. So I have just represented 2,000, 2,000s, 800s, Eight hundreds and three, using our our place value uh, buckets, right? Now let's represent one thousand four hundred forty-three the same way, and I'll do all of those in yellow. So it has one thousand, so it is one thousand four hundred. So one, two, three, four. Each of these are a hundred. And once again, I'm taking the time to draw it in there, although I'm sure you can't read it. And then we have Four tens, right? This is a forty. So one, two, three, four. Each of these are ten. Ten, ten, ten. And then we have three ones. One, two, three. Now that we've represented both numbers, this is just how we represent it in our in our uh, base ten number system. I know the word base ten might be confusing to you, but this is our decimal number system, which is based on the number ten or nine numerals. And this is doing the same thing, but using our place value buckets, with the thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones place. So let's add it up. So first we go to the ones place, and we say, well, what is three ones plus three ones? Well, three ones plus three ones, that's just equal to six ones, right? And if we go to the ones place here, we see that we have six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good enough. Now, let's move on to the tens place. We have zero tens plus four tens. Well, that's going to be equal to four tens. And four tens is the same thing as 40. And when we go to the tens place here, we see the same thing. One, two, three, four tens. And this was the zero up here. So we have 40 here, or four tens, and that's this four, right? Four tens. One, two, three, four, six ones. And now let's go to the hundreds place. And this is where it gets interesting. How many hundreds do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hundreds here. And also, if we said eight plus four, there's twelve. Well, we can't write a twelve in, in, one, of, in one of our places in our number, right? We can only write it something uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Those are the only numerals that I can put in any given place. So how do we solve that problem? Well, what we can do is we can take 10 of these hundreds, and we can cash them in for 1,000. So let's do that. So let's take this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's take these. Let's take these 10 hundreds and move them over 
and put them into the thousands place. Well, ten hundreds are equal to one thousand, right? That's all I did. I took ten of these and I took them out of the hundreds place and I put them into the thousands place. And so these aren't here anymore. I'll just draw it kind of like that. So if we do that, how many how many t hundreds do we have left? Well, we have one, two left. So we have two hundreds left. And then, so we could put two there. And then how many thousands do we have? Well, we have the two plus the one, and then we have the one thousand here that we had cashed in with from all from ten hundreds. So the ones that we cashed in, we could put there, right? That one is this one, and so we add up the thousands: one, two, three, four thousand, or one plus two is three plus one is four. And if you had, you know, if you've ever learned to carry, that's essentially what we did. But I really want you to understand what happened: three plus three is six, zero plus four is four. Eight plus four, the, the kind of the, the way I learned in the '80s when I was in, in third grade, was essentially you say eight plus four is twelve. Write the two and carry the one, and that works. But the problem with that is you really don't know what you're doing. You're just kind of doing something, um, you know, like a robot. You don't understand why that works. But the reason why it works is you're actually saying eight plus four is twelve, or you could say eight hundred plus four hundred is twelve hundred. And what you do is you say, well, I'm out of that 1,200, I'm going to put 200 here, and then the other 1,000, I'm going to convert into a 1,000. And then you say 1,000 plus the 2,000 plus 1,000 is 4,000. And that's essentially what we did here. Let's do, let's do another uh, problem. Actually, let's do, well, if I look at problem number one on the next page, it seems like they just wanted to do some exercises. So let's just do a couple quick exercises, and then I'll do another problem where we learn to carry or I guess you could call it regroup. I don't know exactly know what the exact terminology is. So they say they give us a bunch of problems. They say find the value of. So problem A they say is four, two, six, three, plus five. Well we could do this one uh, almost in our head, right? This is four thousand two hundred and sixty three plus five. This is just five, right? So we could just add the five to the ones place and we get four thousand two hundred and sixty eight. Right, five plus three is eight. B. Four thousand two hundred sixty three plus twenty. So this is interesting. So this two here, where is that? That's in the tens place. So we could add that two. And I'm I'm actually not going to write them on top of each other because I want you to understand how to do this in your head. This is in the tens place. We have a six in the tens place here. So let's add the tens places. Right, the ones place is a zero, so zero plus three is three, and then the two plus the six is eight, and then you have four thousand two hundred, and that makes sense. Four thousand two hundred sixty-three plus twenty. What's sixty-three plus twenty? It's eighty-three, right? And then of course you have the four thousand two hundred in front of it. Problem C. Four thousand two hundred and sixty-three. Plus 400. Well, we could think about it the same way. On this number, there's nothing in the ones place, nothing in the tens place. In the hundreds place, I have a 4. right? So all I have to do is add in the hundreds place here. So add the 4 to the hundreds place here to the 2. right? This is 4,263. If I add 400 to it, I get 4,663. 4,663. Right? All I said is 4,000, that doesn't change. 2 plus 4 is 6, and then 63. Problem D. 4,263 plus 3,000. Once again, we only have, there's a 0 in every place except the 1,000, so we only have to pay attention to the 1,000s. So what's 3,000 plus 4,000? It's 7,000. And then we just have the 263 plus nothing else, 7,263. And what what we're, the reason why they're giving us these exercises is they want you to realize that you know you might think this is hard. You know, I'm adding two four-digit numbers, but you really just have to keep track of one of the places at a time. In this case, 4,000 plus 3,000 is 7,000, and then the rest of you have the 263. Problem E. 4,263. Plus four hundred and twenty-five. Now see if you could do this one in your head. So we could add the ones 
3 plus 5 is 8. Add the tens, 6 plus 2 is 8. And then add the hundreds, 2 plus 4 is 6. And then you have a 4,000. There's no thousands here, so it's 4,688. And they have one last one. So the problem we have is all of them are 4,263. And we have plus 3,425. And if you notice it from the different problems, we added 3,000 here, we added 400 here, we added 20 here, we added 5 here. right? So essentially, we're, this is kind of the combination of all of the problems we've done so far. So how do we do it? Well, we can add first just the 1's place. 3 plus 5 is 8. 60 plus 20 is 8, right? 6 plus 2. 200 plus 400 is 6. And 4,000 plus 3,000 is 7,000. This was a 6. So it's 7,688. Hopefully, you didn't find that too scary. Let's do one more problem. This one will, will, will do the place value buckets just to really hit the point home. So let's say we're doing 2,048 plus 2. So let's say this is the thousands place, hundreds place, tens place. I'll call this thousands. And this is the ones place. So how many ones do we have in this number? We have eight ones. 2,048. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? That's the eight ones. We have four tens. Draw a line here. One, two, three, four. Each of these are, view them as a $10 bill, maybe. We have no hundreds. And how many thousands? We have 1,000. We have two thousands. Right, 2,000. And what are we adding to it? We're just adding two, or two ones. So this two, I'll do it in magenta. We're just adding two. One, two. So what do we get when we add it up? Well, let's think about it. How many ones do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones. We have 10 ones here. So we can't write a 10 in the ones, di in the ones digit place or in the ones place. We can only write something 0 through 9, right? A 10 is, you can't write a 10 digit number where you only need one digit. So what we can do is let's cash in or let's convert these 10 ones. What can we change them into? We can change all of these into a 10. We can change all of these into a 10. And then if we take all of these, convert them into 10, move it here, then we have nothing left here. So what do we have now? We have 0 ones. How many tens do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens. No hundreds. And 2,000s. So it's 20, uh, sorry, it's 2,050. And so 2,048 plus 2 is 2,050. And that should make sense to you intuitively, right? What's 48 plus 2? 48 plus 1 is 49, so 48 plus 2 is 50. Or another way to think about it, you know, this 2,000 is just kind of there, right? Because we're not doing anything with the hundreds or thousands place. The other way to think about it, if we write it like this, 48 plus 2. You say 8 plus 2 is 10. This is kind of the traditional way that a lot of people have learned it. Maybe your parents learned it to do this way. Where they say 8 plus 2 is 10, you write 10. Where you write the 0, you carry the 1. And they say 1 plus 4 is 5. Now that always works, but it's important to realize what you really did. When you say this, you're actually saying 8 plus 2 is 10. Instead of writing that 10 in the 1's place, I'm going to convert all of them into one more 10 in the 10's place. And so I have 0 1's and 1 10. Right? 8 plus 2 is 0 1's and 1 10. And then I have 1 10 plus 4 10's is equal to 5 10's, or 50. So that's what we did there, and I will see you in the next video.